Our main guest is obviously the very lovely Brian of London this week, and he's been doing some great work on the chain. Brian, what would be really cool is if you could give us a quick update as to where you are with things like value for value, pod ping, um, the, the system where you can stream sats um, to, to uh, three speak content, and then let us know what the next iteration is going to be and then what you're doing with this new proposal. So how's that Absolutely. all going? Absolutely. Okay, so if you're listening, podcasting 2.0, value for value enabled app, hit that boost button now. Boost, boost, boost. Anyway. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> so that means we can straight we can stream money to our show because yeah, you really like what exactly. we do, and it's not just money; it's real money. It's Bitcoin, and if it's, it's on Bitcoin. our apps, it's, it transfers into Hive via via Brian's system. Yeah, 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 and that is all working. It's been going. Um, a few people are listening to show, sort of sat streaming by and getting sent off as Hive to people. Um, it. I've got a lot of work to do, and so I know the next few the next few weeks and months, um, I've got I've got a lot of educational stuff to do, videos to make, showing showing, first of all, showing the creators on Three Speak how how it actually works, because this isn't like um, you know this isn't like the free the so called free money we get from upvotes. Uh, this is you've got to ask your audience for this. And, and that's what this whole value for value thing is all about. It's this realization that the advertising supported model is broken. Um, we've got something different on Hive, which is, you know, the, the inflation supported model on the chain. But what we really also need is just this direct reward without the middlemen, without PayPal taking their cuts or the credit card companies, just direct payment from an audience to a creator who's producing things they value that they spend their time on and would like to show appreciation with cash and and it's all about asking your audience for and what what i've been helping build and bring hive into is this world of creating this direct link between especially podcasters but this this applies to video too and that's what what we've done with three speaks we've turned three speak into a massive video podcasting platform because Every channel on 3Speak is a video podcast. And there's an RSS feed button, a little orange thing on every page. You can copy paste that into Apple as um, as you've you've figured it out. Um, yeah, I use it all the time it, now. And it works in lots of other apps. There's like great web-based ones, um, which are, I'll link to all of these. Um, Podfriend is a good one. Curiocaster. On the iPhone, there's Fountain. There's... There's there's a growing variety of apps, and the it'd other be really other, cool, Brian. Brian, it'd be really cool if you could put those links in the description or in the yeah, um, in the hack and D, please. So, so we've, we've got will. a good record of those podcasting platforms that are involved in this. I will because those are, like, those are the platforms through which you can use value for value streaming payments, right? Yeah, exactly. And right. and in all of these and and in all of these apps, one of the things that they're starting to put in is is a wallet feature, and the wallet feature holds Lightning. And Lightning is sort of Bitcoin, but it's not really Bitcoin. It's it's denominated in Bitcoin, but it works on a completely it, it's a it's it's hard to call it a layer two. Don't go into the don't even unless you're really interested in the the tech. Don't don't look at it. It's a mess. But what it's really good at is that apps and app developers can easily use an API to put a wallet, and you put ten, twenty, thirty thousand sats in the wallet, and then while you're listening to any show on uh, three speak or watching them on some of the video enablements, you stream sats. You might stream 50 sats a minute, 100 sats a minute, or it might be 20 or five, it doesn't matter. And, you're, and those little mine, micro payments get paid with, with minimal fees. And then what happens is they get converted to Hive because the, the one problem with the whole value for value network as it's sort of designed at the moment is to receive lightning is actually complicated. You need a node, you need, you need it running all the time and uh, liquidity. And Anyway, I take all of that away, all of that complexity, and you use your Hive account. And, and we've all, you know, the audience I'm speaking to now has all got Hive accounts because you know you can go to sleep and in the morning there'll be more Hive in your account than you need to run the server. Sort of back to what Moxie Marlin Spike was talking about is, is that people don't want to run the servers. They want it done for them. But Hive is that trustless way to receive money. Anyway, so 
Hi, hi, is, your hive account effectively is a lightning node that you don't have to have any technical skills to run because it's run exactly. by the witnesses. Exactly. So, you know, and then... Is, yeah. and so then good, the well, before, before you move on to, to the next <laughs> bit, D Dynamic Geek's in the room. Sorry, yeah. Dynamic Green. Dynamic Green TK, sorry, my, my mistake. And he or she is asking about how to use this system and is interested in how the Lightning Network can be used. Can you direct... And also, uh, Bill... Build up Pragmarco. You did a great video a few a couple yeah. of months ago about how to use the system. Would you mind posting that in the room again if you can? Because um, I think it was a really cool video to show people how it works, and we can maybe include that in the in the description of the video as well. And Brian, maybe you can tell people how they can go, you know, where they can go yeah. to be able to donate Hive via Lightning Network to their favorite content creators on on Hive. Well, that that's the next bit. So so right, so the next right. bit that I've built and that's working is a way to take um like to, to to swap hive for lightning so say you've gone you've gone and got one of the apps that i'll link to like pod friend and pod friend's got a button saying here's a wallet do you want to put some sats into it well how are you going to put sats into it and in america it's kind of easy there's a thing called strike but outside of america there's not very many good options but if you've got hive i provide the option so what i've got is a site um it's lnd.v4v.app LND stands for is the the street is the um, symbol for lightning, and it's just a really simple site. You paste in a little uh, one of these invoices. So you paste in a lightning invoice. And they're like, which is a you know three or four dollars, and then the site gives you a Hive keychain pop up. It says, "Do you want to pay for this with Hive HBD?" You click yes. You sign it with your Hive keychain. And like it's literally six seconds later, your lightning invoice will be paid. So your your wallet will have lightning in it and, and you'll have you'll have swapped some hive for it. And in fact, what I'd then do is return your change. So you get a confirmation that that your lightning's been paid. And um, that's that again, that's all working. And there's <laughs> there's people are using it. And how, how, do, how does this work without, let's say you're not a Hive user, but you want to donate some Hive content yeah. to 3Speak. How, how do you, as a user that doesn't have a Hive account, are you able to just use the that, Lightning Network and no. send Hive? No, that hasn't, that hasn't, I tell you, so that brings me to the next bit. So at the moment, you can stream sats and the sats will get turned into Hive and will go to the Hive creator. But what I, what I also want is the ability for any Hive site to pop up a, a, a lightning invoice which is often displayed as a qr code and and then somebody who has lightning can tip a hive creator but that bit is the bit i need to have built um and i've looked at right. doing it myself but that's the bit that i'm going to be working on in a few weeks and i'm hiring yeah. someone to do that because uh, so it's it's so a bit. this is the super important part to me right because yeah, it ties into many different aspects on Hive, but one of the, the most important ones to me is we have this battle ongoing with the the various people on Hive. Agree with them or not, they're posting content to Hive, and then they get downvoted. And because the likes of Peak D and um, Hive Blog are the most used platforms on Hive, their, their trending algorithms are based mostly on um, how much Hive is backing a blog, how many Hive upvotes. When those blogs get downvoted, they go off the trending pages. So then these people are shouting censorship, right? Well, for me, this is very bad for Hive because Hive, to me, is a censorship-resistant system whereby you can run a free speech platform like 3Speak and not have any issues with censorship, which we don't have. We don't use that trending algorithm. So any downvotes on our content don't affect the trending algorithm on 3Speak. But what we really need is, is an open-source trending, trending algorithm system that any any app can integrate that doesn't necessarily trend based only on Hive. Now, there's several solutions to this. And one of the ones that's massive, in my opinion, is how do we monetize content in ways that are not reliant upon the Hive upvote? And this yeah. that you're, you're bringing in here is massive, in my opinion, because it allows people now to go shout outside of Hive about their content, build audiences outside. And those audience, audiences don't even need to know what Hive is. And they're going to be able to use their crypto balances to donate to Hive content. And that is exactly what this system needs. Because not, not only is that great for monetizing content, but it takes away people's reliance on the upvote and reward system and then leaves them less bitch hurt if they get downvoted. And it also takes away the relevance of the downvoters as well. It, it kind of neutralizes them. 
So th this this is where we need to take, you know, the Speak Network is really big on monetization methods for content outside of the Hive upvotes yeah. Yeah. so yeah. that we can allow content to uh, exist independently without relying on being worried about being downvoted by whales and things like this on Hive, you know. So this is a massive thing for me, and I'm super excited about this, Brian. I really am. In the chat, um, the Hive says, I'm confused on the part of... And, I, and I'll tell you this, if you're on Hive and you're in the Hive ecosystem already and you've got Hive and you're giving Hive, you don't need this, okay? But the point here is that Lightning is actually gaining a very strong foothold. And, and of all of the, firstly, it's got the, BT, the Bitcoin cachet and name and the, the Bitcoin maximalists seem to be reasonably on board with it. I, I'm not entirely sure why in some cases, but it's gaining some, it, it is gaining adoption because, and, and look, it's, it's actually in use as a national currency. That matters. And, and so connecting that with Hive, which no one's done before, I think is hugely important because it opens up our little closed world. It's been very hard to find on ramps into and out of Hive. And that's essentially what I'm building. Now, I'm trying to build it in a way that is going to be me. Um, I'm trying to build, you know, everything I'm building is with one eye to make it all open source and to put it on GitHub and say, hey, get yourself a, a Hive account, get yourself a Lightning node, fund it properly. And, and look, th this isn't going to be, this isn't going to be sort of drop dead easy, but I want other people to be running these gateways. And then I want Hive to act as its own little decentralized control system that, that chooses whose gateway you use when you do these. But that's all, you know, that, that's what I have to build out into the future. But it's, it's the idea that we then link Hive with something else that's going on outside of the world. Because the one thing, you know, I've right. identified is that Lightning is really good small anonymous wallets that just want to move 15 20 30 50 dollars around it's crap at moving very large amounts of money i mean i've said this lightning would be a fantastic money laundering tool if it could move more than a hundred dollars just can't so but but for the types of you know tipping on content it's fantastic and yeah. and we do we have to move we have to i know it's nice to get 400 dollars on a post but it's not that's not the future of of where this goes and where hive goes and you guys know it on speak network you know that it's it we've got to have these other monetization strategies yeah. mm -hmm. to pay yeah, for just a distribution method of the governance token layer two communities are where the rewards are going to be and um, more payment gateways more tipping options the tipping economy is multi-billion people do it very big um paywalls, micropayments, every every minute you watch you you pay a tenth of a cent. Um, this is the future paying, you know, having the sharing economy is gonna mean so Hive is the sharing economy, right? People probably have a lot more money on this site that they've made and have floating around than they do on Facebook. That's called the house effect. So this is house money they've made, so they're more likely to spend it or use it or keep it. And um, so what that creates is an abundance economy. So if you're like so tell so if you tell somebody on Hive, oh, it's gonna cost you like, you know, half a penny or something to see this. They won't. They will, and it'll just come right out of your Hive balance. They won't even feel it. It won't. It won't exist. So that's, that's the exactly what I feel. Yeah. It, it, when when you set these when you set these recurring payments low enough, and and it's like I'm not making like some hundred and thirty dollar a year commitment, and it's gonna be fifteen dollars a month, and but. I will gladly pay fifteen dollars a month, but not if I have to commit to it up front for a year. You know, it's a very, very different mindset. You know, and and when I I'm I like rewarding the independent com uh, content creators that I listen to. I I do. I I I just I feel I should. It's it's I've changed. My mindset has definitely changed, and I and I I seek out content that is not advertising supported deliberately. Yeah, I mean, I mean, ultimately, obviously, people are raising the security concerns with Lightning, and those are valid. But if this thing's being used, and it's being used for micro micropayments, and then we can we can be the, the first social media network to be able to scream out to the Bitcoin community and say, hey, guys, you want to be able to tip in your own Lightning currency? Come tip here. There's a simple system. You just upload your Lightning, and then click, boom, and, and it streams 
uh, a certain amount to the content per minute as you listen to it. That's, be- that's a beautiful system. And we basically have the structure of that set up. It's just a case of a little bit more work. And now Brian will be able to finish that off. If I'm, if yeah, I'm and making it, and, and, and obviously it's all making it easy to use. And that's, look, I'm, I'm not the only one working on this. And, and there are new apps coming up all the time that are making it better and better and better, better video apps are coming along. And, and, and I mean, you know, just, just being able to watch a three speak video inside the, the Apple podcast app. Now, yeah, Apple so does not have the value. It is, it's just a beautiful it's feeling so because it's that, it's that car a swisher moment. It's like, yeah. who's gonna, who's gonna censor this? And, and you can, you like, can, yeah, yeah. And you can even upvote as well. You can upvote through the Apple podcasting app. It's so good. <laughs> it feels so right. It feels so like cheeky, you know? That, and that, that was, that was so important to me. And I've got one more step actually. I'm waiting on, uh, on devs to, to the, the it's it's ridiculously hard to submit a podcast to Apple Podcasts. Uh, and the structure has to be just right, but it's almost there. And when it is, then I'm going to make this video, and any any three speak channel will be able to have an officially listed podcast on Apple where you'll search ah. for the ah. you'll search for the name. That's what I'm working for. Yeah, yeah. This so you won't I'm even need to link the URL. Or you just you, you no, just no, no, you'll just. You'll just go search into Apple Podcasts, search for They Call Me Dan, and it so will any pop three up. Speed user, any three-speed user just pop Any three-speed right? user. So yeah. good, if, if they set it up in a certain way. So that's coming. Oh, I'm just living and the it, it, I've got to get... But the, I tell you, like, like I'm having... You have to have a 3,000 by 3,000 pixel cover in it. And Hive.blog's uh, image dev... Image uh, server won't serve images that large. So I'm waiting on Voltec to get the IPFS thing working. And so it's like, you know... Behind the scenes, I don't think people understand. This stuff is hard. It's hard to make it good. And and it has to be made good. And, you know, there's yeah, no alternatives. And it just takes a time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the guy's super busy, but he, you know, this stuff's rolling out. Slowly but surely, it's rolling out. And you see the progress he's making on some of these node systems now. So that's, uh, it, it's coming. It's coming very, it, very it, soon. It, it, it all ties together. And, and what I just love is that the direction we're going in, and, and anyway, so I've put in a, I, I was funded for three months for the value for value stuff. Uh, and I've spent some of that and, and I've put in a new application, which starts because I, I think my funding runs out tomorrow um, for the last one. And then in two weeks time, the next uh, proposal kicks in. So I, I've pretty much, I've pulled back from my company in Israel. I, I, my brother-in-law was that. And um, uh, while I'm waiting also for the Australian courts, this is, it's pretty much my full-time job now. I'm 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 a dev. I've become a dev. I love it. I love doing what I'm doing. And I think it's super important. It's super important because we're building it's strange how you can see these multi-billion dollar companies and exits and this one, you know, and my wife's wondering when my exit's going to be and when when's Apple going to buy what I'm building and I'm, uh, probably not. <laughs> and it, yeah. But but somewhere along the line, I think we're we're making the future here. The pipes are being laid, and now we're making the governance and incentive mechanisms. Because a lot of this is amazing plumbing, Lightning Network's amazing plumbing. Um, but without the incentives and governance and making it easy as you're doing it right now, everyone's going to want a lightning network. And it reminds me when I played poker, there was this little wallet that gave, it was a little bit more convenient and it worked a little bit better, saved you on fees. And that quickly became the dominant wallet because people want to save in fees. And then of course, um, you know, um, competition arose and all that. So that's what I feel Hive is going to be that little wallet or that little thing, you know, maybe in South America, People are getting more fees or maybe KYC or with their lightning provider or whatever. And then they're like, well, I don't want to run my own node. And then they hear something about this. Maybe they hear it from a Hive post. They set it up. And they're like, oh, wow, this is easy. Um, start getting well, I'm Hive sure accepted that's in their ha- local that's, communities. Then That's, that's, that's going to happen really. with my lightning thing. Because I, I know that I think one of Eddie's friends from Mexico, I don't know what he's doing. He's he's buying a, he's, he's buying a lot of lightning with his Hive. You know, Every few days he buys another twenty, thirty thousand sats, and I think I think there's some like local system where which he can get, you know, get um, not credit cards or, or gift cards or something in the local currency, and people are going to discover that there's a thing called bit refill. You can get Amazon mm-hmm. cards, 
And if you want to get an Amazon card, 50 bucks with Hive from Hive dollars, then my Lightning conversion is actually a pretty good way of doing that. It's very low fee. Uh, so people will discover I'm not like, I'm not pushing it out there as fast and as hard as I could. Uh, but I, I just want to see the uptake grow in a way that I can manage, which uh, so far it is. Yeah, I mean, those are the yeah, gonna be really cool. fruit places that are going to help the most simply because sure. spreads like fire helps really, really does help. But guess what? The sharing economy is going to make everybody enriched. So it's like playing Trojan horses all over the world and helping these people get on a platform where they can benefit from the sharing economy. And then they're going to flourish and their countries more accepting, more flexible are going to have to be recognized. Um, it's it's a great thing. So that's why you're starting to see the focus on, you know, all of these blockchains always talk about, oh, we got to help theirs. We got to go to Africa. We got to go here, that, that. Um, and the reason they realize, you know, this Web3 is going to unlock the ability for anyone to work anywhere and earn value, which was impossible before. Um, and that means a lot of these places are going to start to thrive because they have amazing people and amazing cultures. And they're going to be able to express that artwork with NFTs and all these stories you're already hearing yeah. changing people's lives. So that's that's where Hive is going to be everywhere, like the tentacles or the roots that are just entwined in everything you do simply because it's um convenience it's better that's that's that simple I'm, I'm i'm looking forward to the time where and it, I'm, I'm i'm convinced it's going to get to this fairly soon where a lot of these content creators in these um developing nations that they're, they're starting to make a little bit of high from their blogs they're able to maybe some some able to maybe self-sustain and then it's going to be a case if you're going to see content popping up where they they use that monetization convert it across to lightning buy local um gift cards that they can then go spend in the local community and you're going to see so much content popping. I mean, the, the viral the viral probability of that of that after that can happen in a fairly easy way that they can make a video about, show their friends. It could go crazy, um, Brian. So, mm -hmm. you know, anything you could do to make that as easy as possible, um, certainly for for attaching it to gift gift voucher sites and things like that, and just making that whole process seamless is going to be very, very, very useful. And I think there's so many people, so many eyes looking over there that, that could really make use of that. So there's a massive chance for that to go viral. That's what I'm hoping. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, some part of you wants it to explode immediately, but I'm not ready for it. And uh, I, there is more to be. And it's not, this is a sprint. This is a, this is a marathon. Uh, we're mm -hmm. building something much, much bigger than any of us, I think, even realize at the moment. I mean, yeah. you know, we're building, that. this is something that's really important. Building, I'm not building a centralized server service i'm not building another bank i'm building a protocol a way to send small amounts of payment efficiently and convert them um, it's a protocol and i'll make the software open source and and this whole value for value system for uh for podcasts it's a protocol it's just a set of anybody in fact any of the other cryptocurrencies you could you could build an ethereum client for this the trouble is each time you wanted to send three cents you'd have to pay 75 dollars in gas fees so ethereum's out the window but but and this is where where hive shines lightning's pretty good but hive is even cheaper but the combination yeah. of the two and this i keep coming back to this somebody said security on lightning well the best part of lightning is if you're just using a wallet in an app that you listen to your podcasts on and you put twenty thousand sats in there this is not your life savings it's like if you know, you you shouldn't be using any of this technology if sats in an eye, you know, in the blink of an eye. You know, it's it's four bucks. It's a coffee. It's not it's not what you you know. Hive Hive is not very good at temporary wallets. Lightning is fantastic at it. So that's why I see. Yeah, but, at the, Hive, but at the same time, Hive, at the same time, Hive's going to be really cool to monetize your content and have that four dollars yeah. waiting in Sats converted exactly. from the Hive, from from the content that you use to monetize on Hive. You know? Hive is great for receiving. It's great for the creators. Lightning is really good for the senders, for the mm -hmm. listeners. Mm -hmm. it, they, yeah. they, they 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 really match each other's capabilities because mm -hmm. it's you know Lightning is ultra low fee. Hive is zero fee. Uh, Lightning's that, amazing that's amazing technology a, for sure. All right, but what, what was the next on. thing you wanted to talk about? Well, just just Podping is going along <clears> in the background, but it's about to yeah, it's Pod about Ping's to badass. get real. Podping is badass, and there's something coming very very soon. In fact, my 
dev guy and I have, in fact, I've been actually hard in the code of Podping for the last two days. Um, we're coming out with live notifications, which again, this stuff isn't end user. It's not front and center. It's not something that, that users of Hive will notice or know what, what it's going on or even podcasters. But we're producing <clears throat> the next generation of cross-platform live, go live notification because well, well, this just, does not just, exist. Just Alex to let you know, Brian. just to let you know, yeah. Brian, I mean, the, the problem that this solves for everyone's understanding and me certainly as a user of social media, I have a lot of, I watch a lot of three speed content now via the Apple pod ping app, but sorry, via, via the Podcast. Apple ping app, right? Yeah. So I, I get a lot of notifications pop up every day now, ding, ding, ding. Oh, there's a user that's posted and it's all set so that well, it's, all, it's only three speed people that I'm watching, right? So that's really cool. It means I get notified when when three speak videos get uploaded, which is class, and then my favorite three speak content creators. <clears throat> but this effectively would allow a separate system to completely bypass that notification system from Apple and tell me independently, or you know, if three speak was to build it in, if three speak was running on my phone, then that would tell me. Um, I assume that's the way you're going to build this so that other apps can implement it. And it's therefore a decentralized notification system that doesn't rely on any single company to to make to, to tell people whether or not you you've uploaded. Exactly. At the moment, what Pumping does, is, and Apple don't use it. So Apple, um, the way Apple knows when a new episode dropped on a three speak show is that they Apple have got a computer somewhere that checks every single show on three speak every twenty minutes and says, "Have you changed? Have you changed? Have you changed?" It's it's a cat catastrophic system, but that's how podcasting has worked for 20 years. Podping, they could watch Podping and they would know, oh, this show has changed. I'll go and it's, and it's instant, right? It's and instant, it's, I guess. It takes three seconds. Um, what we're extending Podping to do is a going live notification. Because at the moment, if you go live on Facebook, Facebook just tells people who have got the Facebook app. Same with YouTube, same with Twitter. Those, those notifications are solely within the walled garden of each of these apps there doesn't exist a cross-platform right. way of saying i have gone live right. so what we what podping will become is the cross-platform way of saying i am going live so so when we start this show you'll be able to say okay we're going live with community token talk and a link to where you can hear it and yeah. that will go out on podping and suitable apps will will come along that will be able to watch it and they'll know which ones to subscribe for. They'll they'll ignore the ones yeah. that they're interested in, and then they'll just be able to show them. and And I'm sure someone will write the code to like steal notifications from Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and all of that stuff, and put it out on Podping as well. And suddenly, these walled gardens will lose control of this vertical thing they've had all this time. And I can't believe nobody's done it, except that. When you try and do it without something like a global permissionless database, which is what we've got on Hive, when you try and do it without Hive, it's actually not. You wind up with servers everywhere, which is what you don't want. Whereas all you have to do is buy a little bit of Hive power and have the investment in some Hive power, and you can use Hive, right. and it carries these notifications perfect. And, and then, so, and then, of course, when when you're done with with that system, with using that system, you can take your Hive out. There's no, it's not like you're get you're losing any money. You didn't, yeah, and it didn't. Each transaction did not cost you money. You lost the opportunity cost of of just having money invested in Hive, which you know, since I introduced everybody to Podping and Hive. Hive has gone from 20 cents to oh, it's crashing now, but a uh, dollar 27 still, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It, the point is you don't lose money and it doesn't cost money to transact. This thing is just brilliant. 